Welcome back to Football Daily, with many fans around the world having more time on their hands now than ever before, and with no live entertainment to watch, here are 10 football documentaries, films and TV shows you should get stuck into right now. 10. Take Us Home One of the quintessential sleeping giants of European football, let alone the English game, Leeds United have faced over 15 years of disappointment since getting relegated from the Premier League in 2004. But the club, which reached the Champions League semi-finals just three years before going down, finally looked to have turned a corner under the ownership of Andrea Radrizzani and Take Us Home makes you feel like a fly on the wall for this attempt at the ultimate comeback. The documentary starts with the hiring of Maverick manager Marcelo Bielsa, now revered as a god by many of the Leeds faithful, and tracks the beginning of what was perhaps the most optimistic season in recent Ellen Road history. Amazingly, Bielsa himself even conducts a sit-down interview, the first time he has done so in over 20 years. But inevitably, there is chaos. The calamity of Daniel James's failed transfer from Swansea and of course Spygate, as Leeds get overtaken by Norwich and Sheffield United before ultimately falling to Derby County in the playoffs. A roller coaster ride and all narrated by none other than Russell Crowe, guaranteed to get the blood pumping. 9. Take the ball, pass the ball. But if you'd rather marvel at one of the greatest club sides of all time, look no further than take the ball past the ball. This Spanish documentary lists the lid on Pep Guardiola's era-defining Barcelona team, which won 14 trophies between 2008 and 2012, and specifically focuses on the 2010-11 campaign in which he recorded the club's second Champions League triumph in three years. But it obviously isn't all plain sailing. Pep has to face off against his meanest enemy in Jose Mourinho, while Eric Abadell has to come through his battle with cancer, an episode which understandably shakes the team as a whole. And there is also some amazing insight. For example, club president Joan Laporta reminiscing about Guardiola's claims that he would win him everything if he made him manager. And of course, there is no shortage of Lionel Messi who is poured over by everyone from Samuel Eto'o to Fabio Capello. Throw in some of the greatest and bloodiest El Clasicos of the modern era and you have the perfect snapshot of one of the most dramatic periods in Spanish football history. If you guys at home aren't already subscribed to Football Daily, then what are you doing? Please smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you never miss a Football Daily video. 8. The Two Escobars On the 1st of July 1994, five days after his own goal effectively sent Colombia out of the World Cup in the USA, centre-back Andres Escobar was killed in an attack widely regarded to have been motivated by angry gangsters who had big money on the national team's fortunes at the tournament. While infamous drug lord Pablo Escobar had nothing to do with the murder, he had been shot dead himself the previous year, he had arguably been the single biggest influence on organised crime in the country and was a huge football fan, pumping huge amounts of money into Atletico Nacional, the club Andres coincidentally played for. The two Escobars links the story of these two unrelated figures, illustrating how intertwined drug cartels and the beautiful game became in Colombia during this period, and the tragic consequences this held for many. 7. Zidane, a 21st century portrait Wildly different from the other films and documentaries on this list, Zidane, a 21st century portrait, is very much for football fans who like their movies on the more arty end of the spectrum. The 91-minute feature depicts Zinedine Zidane during a La Liga game against Villarreal in 2005, just over a year before the French great retired, with 17 cameras tracking his every move. Soundtracked by experimental band Mogwai, it is cut with quotes from Zidane as he navigates his way through the game, assisting Ronaldo before eventually getting himself sent off after getting involved in an on-pitch brawl, accidentally foreshadowing how his career would end. Loved and hated in equal measure, this film is certainly an acquired taste, but for Zidane superfans and the more patient viewer, it certainly offers something different from your usual football flick. 6. Bend It Like Beckham Released in 2002, Bend It Like Beckham came out when the former England captain was at his peak as a cultural icon, but it really has nothing to do with him. Instead, it follows two teenage girls, played by Parminda Nagra and Kira Knightley, as they follow their dream of making it as professional footballers, and in doing so, gaining acceptance from their disapproving families. 
The film is both hilarious, high on emotion and has a killer soundtrack, making it one of the feel-good hits of British cinema. It also touches on deeper subjects too. As you'd expect, a story based on women's football inevitably tackles the social norms which continue to hold back girls from taking up the sport around the world. But it also explores homophobia and racism, as experienced by the characters in the film. Nevertheless, it's a thoroughly enjoyable watch too. Alternatively, if you're just after laughs, Mike Bassett's England Manager is another masterpiece from the era, a satirical comedy that perfectly encapsulates English football and tabloid culture, powered by a brilliant performance from Ricky Tomlinson. In my opinion, it's the best football film ever. 5. This is Football a six-part series, This Is Football focuses on the sheer power of the beautiful game, with each episode carrying on a different theme – redemption, faith, chances, love, pride and miracles. From exploring how the sport helped to bring people together in Rwanda following the horrific events of the 90s, to looking at Japan's heroic victory at the 2011 Women's World Cup just months after the country was rocked by a natural disaster, this series helps to explain why a sport, which has become so incredibly corporate in the 21st century, still has the capacity to bring power to ordinary people. It also looks at stories which may be more familiar to your average football viewer like Chelsea's unlikely victory in the 2012 Champions League, Iceland's unfathomable success on the international stage and how Lionel Messi became the player he is today. Whatever you love most about football, it will be in here somewhere. 4. All or Nothing – Manchester City Manchester City's Premier League campaign of 2017-18 is already remembered as one of, if not, the greatest domestic season enjoyed by an English club. Pep Guardiola's side won a record amount of games and scored a record amount of goals on the way to achieving a record amount of points, and amazingly, it was all caught on camera. All or Nothing gives you the insider's view of how Pep City operated that season, how the world-class coach motivated his players to destroy all in their path, how the side dealt with the injury to Benjamin Mendy and the mid-season loss of David Silva, and how they overcame disappointment in the Champions League to finish the season on a high. Featuring team talk footage inside the dressing room and exclusive interviews with figures at all levels of the club, All or Nothing has a kind of access most sports journalists can only dream of and gives a unique insight into one of the sport's newest superpowers. 3. Sunderland Till I Die But if you'd rather revel in another club's misery than their glory, then Sunderland Till I Die is for you. Unlike All or Nothing, which documents Man City's greatest ever season, the first instalment of this series takes you through what is considered by many Sunderland fans as the worst campaign in the club's history, as they suffer the humiliation of a double relegation, going down to the third tier for the first time in over 30 years. Produced by two Backham supporters, the series was meant to show the club plotting a return to the promised land of the Premier League. But instead, it showcases one of the country's biggest footballing institutions going from calamity to calamity, with the most famous example being the recruitment team's listing of Zlatan Ibrahimovic as a transfer target. The recently released second series is somewhat more optimistic, with the club pushing for promotion from League One but it's not without heartbreak, from top scorer Josh Madger's untimely departure to two defeats at Wembley. If you want to put yourself in the shoes of our very own Doogie Critchley, this series is for you. 2. Premier League Years While all these films and series capture the magic of football in one way or another, sometimes you just want to sit down and watch some great goals and compilations, and they don't come much better than Premier League Years. The Sky Sports show runs through every season of the Premier League, helping you relive the classic moments from the last 27 years. From Kevin Keegan's infamous meltdown in 1996, to the wonder goals of Henri and Rooney, to Sergio Aguero's last-minute winner against QPR in 2012, it's all on show here, wall-to-wall, -wall, non-stop Premier League football. Normally seen as something to fill the time between the real action, Premier League years now takes on an entirely new significance, a window into what the world was like when watching football on the weekend was a given, and revelling in the drama of the English top flight was a key part of every fan's day-to-day -day life. 1. Diego Maradona Written and directed by Asif Kapadia, who previously produced acclaimed documentaries on Ayrton Senna and Amy Winehouse, Diego Maradona is, according to the filmmaker, the third part of a trilogy on child geniuses and fame what they mean to their country and what they mean to people. 
Finally released in 2019, the documentary centers around Maradona as he's moving from Barcelona to Napoli and follows him up close as he achieves glory for both club and country, while struggling with the pressures that came with superstardom and his godlike status in one of Italy's poorest cities. If you're even partly familiar with the story of the iconic forward, you'll know that there is a lot of drama aplenty here. Made possible by the acquisition of hours upon hours of archival footage of the Argentinian legend, much of which has never been seen before, Diego Maradona is a brilliantly unique take on one of the beautiful game's greatest ever figures. So those were our 10 football films, documentaries and TV shows we think that you guys should watch during this time. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. If you want to watch more Football Daily content, then please click on screen right now. And as always, guys, don't forget to stay safe.